does Alka-Seltzer Alka cheese puffs and rockets have in common? Well, you can use them all for science. Caitlin Carter is here from the Imagination Station to show us how and to just have some fun, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Great. How, what are we doing today? So we have National Chemistry Weekend coming up oh, next weekend. Okay. So I thought I would bring some rocket science out with us. I have two experiments, something folks can do okay. at home and something you can't necessarily do at home. Right. You got to go bigger today. when you're here, gotta right? Go a little bit big. So we're going to put on our safety glasses. Yep, safety first. I and like the first this. thing we're going to do is make some rockets using Alka Seltzer. So, we're going to be rocket scientists today? We are going to be rocket scientists. I can scientists tell people today. that? Okay. Yeah, you can. I'm a rocket scientist <laughs> today, guys. All right, so how do we start? So, we're going to have a little piece of Alka Seltzer. Okay. Alka Seltzer has calcium carbonate and citric acid in it. And so, it does the same chemical reaction that you get with sort of that volcano science yeah, experiment. Yeah. It produces carbon dioxide when you put it in water. So, I want you to grab that bottle of water okay. and fill your film canister up about one third of the way. Okay. And these film canisters are great for making fun little rockets. Rockets. Mm. Perfect. I'll take that from you so I can fill okay. mine up as well. Then go ahead and grab your Alka Seltzer. And All when right. I say go, you're going to drop it in the film canister. Okay. You're going to put that cap on really tight. It goes on like this. Okay. And then we're going to flip them upside down and watch what happens. Oh, Ready? no. Here okay. we go. Three, two, one, go. Pop the cap on, flip it over. Oh. And so you can see those bubbles are forming as the yep. As the tablet dissolves, the calcium carbonate citric acid react together. It's a chemical reaction, and they're releasing carbon dioxide, which is building up <laughs> pressure, which launches our rockets up into the air. How fun is that? It's pretty fun. So that's something everyone can try at home, but yeah. unfortunately, we can't get into space using the power of Alka-Seltzer. Right, probably not. I don't think it's that powerful. It's not as powerful, so we need something a little stronger. Okay, and how do we, we up the ante? I'm going to scooch this pie pan off to the <laughs> side and bring in um, some We're upping the ante with some cheese puffs? With some cheese puffs, yeah. All right, you're going to have to explain this to me. <laughs> I will absolutely. So the secret is over here. I have Ooh, in the balloon. oxygen in my balloon, and you'll see it's in a test tube that it's in liquid nitrogen, which is 320 degrees below zero. It's very, very cold, cold. Which is, as you know, turning it into a liquid. So you can see I have this wow, beautiful that's liquid oxygen. This is, is liquid what you're oxygen. Me? It's this beautiful blue color. If yeah, I can wipe it off, so I can take beautiful. a look at it. And so in space, in space science, getting rockets up into space takes a lot of oxygen. A lot of a lot of oxygen. It takes combustion okay. actually. So rather than just producing carbon dioxide, we have to have combustion, which we need three things for. We need fire. So if you are up for it, I'm going to have you use the okay. blowtorch. I like a blowtorch. Let's do it. <laughs> Great. We need fuel, which in this case is going to be our cheese puffs. Okay. Shuttles often use liquid hydrogen. And then to really get enough oxygen, we're going to use our liquid oxygen. Wow. Okay. Kind of condensing it, really making it potent almost. Absolutely. Absolutely. And taking up a lot less space. Gas takes up 700 times more space than a liquid. 700 so times. Absolutely. Wow. So we can really get it into our cheese puffs, get enough oxygen okay. in there for combustion. So I'm going to hand you the blowtorch. And move this out of the way. So I'm going to uncap our oxygen here. And what we're going to do, I'm going to bring this in, pour it into our cheese puffs. As soon as I finish pouring it, you're going to bring that blowtorch right, right in close and light it. Turn yeah, it show okay. us. You got Beautiful. it? Got right, it. Here we go. I'm going to pour liquid oxygen in, bring that in, light it. So we'll take a step back. Wow. <laughs> I can't see. I don't it's know where I am. It's incredibly bright, very powerful. Wow. And you can just that imagine. It was immediate. It was immediate. And we just had the tiniest bit of liquid oxygen. And for space shuttles, they have ginormous tanks bigger than the space shuttle itself filled that with liquid oxygen. That makes sense to propel it up. And this is all thanks to chemistry. And you guys are really focusing on that this weekend? Next weekend. Next so weekend. November okay. 16th through the 18th, they can come on down to Imagination Station all day long and enjoy a great number of space chemistry experiments with How us. How fun. And you could be maybe a rocket scientist yourself. Absolutely. All right. Thank you so much. This was amazing and a little thanks. terrifying in a good way. <laughs> All right, well, WTOL 11 Newer Day is back in a moment. Maybe more rockets? I don't know. <laughs>